Rising fire, not getting lighter See the light getting brighter My eyes can comprehend the future ahead oh, oh, oh. Welcome to our daily online devotion and prayer. Today, we're going to have a really, really great topic in the name of Jesus. We're going to tackle this, and I know that the Holy Spirit will continue to, to bless us with His wisdom, continue to 
a shower his blessings of peace upon us and um, before we continue um, why not tag our friends share this broadcast and click the heart button and also uh, subscribe or ask your friends to subscribe to our FB uh, page and also um, subscribe to our YouTube channel we have CIF TV and uh, they ha we have face faith stars and uh, you may send your gifts through that faith stars hallelujah thank you for your prayers and support and we want to welcome our friends in Canada uh, in Australia uh, hopefully my friends in Mongolia are also uh, going to be tuned in today and uh, we have friends in China and Russia Nepal uh, we got this this uh, CIF TV is going around the world and thank you for supporting this channel thank you and um, let's have a word of prayer Father God, we thank you because you are our great God. You always make sure that we are um, blessed, we are taken care of, and that you blessed us so we can bless others as well. Thank you, Lord, and may your guidance be upon us today. And thank you for each one who has uh, come in together and be a part of this daily online devotion and prayer. We thank you, Father, for your faithfulness upon us. And we bless your name forever and ever. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give God glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, let's have a little perspective. Uh, the previous broadcast on the series called Man's Crisis Due to Sin, taken from the book, by Pastor Cesar Castellanos. Uh, day one, the devotional leader talked about spiritual death. On day two, the leader talked about a conceited heart. Day three, the devotional leader talked about fear. And on day four, discovering his nakedness. Now is day five, and the topic is hiding from the voice of God. Have you heard the voice of God? This might be a controversial topic for some, but have you heard the voice of God? When you say the voice of God, is it a audible sound? Is it, is it an audible voice? Something that you can hear with your physical ear? Or is it a, a something from deep within your spirit? That the Lord transmitted into your know, into your understanding, into your mind. And you know, if if you want to hear the voice of God, please type, "I want to hear the voice of God." All right. So, is it a still small voice spoken into your spirit? I remember when I first became a Christian, I was a teenager, and then I went to Bible school, and um, I was taught in the Bible school that God speaks to us. God speaks to us through His Word, and so I believe that. I was there in the Bible school, I studied the Word of God, and I read the Word of God, and allow it to speak to my heart and into my understanding. And then when I got to college, I still believed the same thing. The, our college is a Christian liberal arts college, and we had Bible units. And uh, once, you, I, once you graduate in that college, you will have a minor in Bible. So I had graduated with a major in uh, English, Bachelor of Arts major in English and minor in Bible. But I still believe the same thing. We were still taught the same thing that God speaks to us through his word but funny thing is uh, I, I received something uh, when I went to US because I got a scholarship for a training in Christian radio broadcasting I learned that God can speak to us 
in our spirit. Of course, He used His Word to speak to us. I had that experience, and it might be controversial for some, but I cannot negate that experience. I cannot deny that experience. I cannot render it ineffective because it helped me grow as a Christian. I didn't look for it. I didn't seek the, to hear God uh, in that way with a still small voice like Elijah of old. But it, the Lord spoke to me, and I cannot deny that. If you, if you tell me it's not true, uh, you got to me too late. Because in 1979, I experienced it. I experienced it. I do not experience it every day. God does not speak to me every day. But what is the voice of God? Well, you know, Pastor Cesar Castellanos, the author of 52 studies of successful sale groups says the bible is the voice of god the bible is the voice of god and when we study it there are certain passages that touch our hearts and minister to our special needs that is when the word actually becomes spirit and life to our soul we seek the lord we do not seek an audible voice of God. It's up to the Lord how He communicates to His people. Wow. We go to the scripture to receive His message. Anything we receive must align with the scripture. Even Rabbi, I call him Rabbi Saul before he became the Apostle Paul. He was breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord as he went to the high priest and asked for letters of uh, uh recommendation letters of um, support letters of permission that if if he found any who were of the way the christians in those days uh, were called the way whether men or women he might bring them bound to jerusalem and that's in acts chapter 9 verse 1 and 2 in verse 3 it says as he journeyed he came near damascus and suddenly a light shone around him from heaven then he fell to the ground in verse 4 it says there and heard a voice he heard a voice he heard a voice saying to him soul soul why are you persecuting me then he fell to the ground and he said who are you lord then the lord said i am jesus whom you are persecuting it is hard for you to kick against the goats or in some translation it says it is hard for you to kick against the pricks well you know there is the voice of god audibly heard today you may not audibly hear the voice of god but god speaks to us in our spirit in our inner man and uh, regardless how people interpret it there are many who have experienced hearing the voice of God that way. It may not be audible, but the truth is, the fact is, God speaks to us today. He uses His words. You know, the Bible verses that you have memorized, God uses that to you. He uses that to you to, to uh, speak to someone when you are witnessing, when you are trying to encourage someone. And you know what? God is so good. The Holy Spirit would uh, let these words of the Lord be superimposed in our minds in Jesus' name. It's like when you read the scripture and the Lord wants to speak with you, the, the words kind of leap, jumps out and gets to you. And you know what? That is what the Holy Spirit wants us to encourage with today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I still remember the, the day I was praying and fasting for three days and three nights because I had such a, um, uh, I, I had a culture shock when I first arrived in U.S. The people there, the Americans I was with, you know, they were so blunt, they were so frank, and they tell it like it is. And even though it may hurt you, they tell it. For us Filipinos, oh, we cannot go around the bush. 
we kind of go around and around until we can express what we really intend to say and uh, then it happens but over there oh i got so uh, i felt so bad i i, I had such a like like a, a terrible uh feeling and i thought i said lord i can't stand this anymore oh god i feel so alone here in america all by myself i was a young person and I didn't have any relative. Oh, I may have missionaries that I know. But, you know, God dealt with me. And I fasted and prayed for three days and three nights so that I can be strengthened. I didn't seek the voice of God because all I knew at that time in my life was that God encourages us. God speaks to us through his scriptures. And so... On the third day and third night of my prayer and fasting, as I stood after praying, after praying, I heard a voice, whether it's audible or not, I heard right within my spirit. <laughs> and God says, love people. Now, the devil will not tell you to love people, would he? And then I thought it was all that was. And then he spoke another sentence. He said, grow in grace. And I realized that these words I have read in the word of God. And then the third one is continue in well-doing for you will reap if you faint not. Have you read that from the book of Galatians? I think it's chapter 6. So God uses his word. That's why we read the Word of God. We memorize the Word of God because He uses it when we go witnessing and when we are in prayer. We use His Word when we pray. And I believe that today God can still speak to us. But here, a man, well, after a man's sin, man hid from the voice of God. And I remember Adam and Eve. In the cool of the day, God uh, would uh, fellowship with them. But when, the, when they fell into sin, they were hiding. They even uh, sought fig leaves to, to cover themselves because they found themselves naked. And I remember what I learned when I was in Bible school. It says here, uh, well, let me have the word first. Psalm 139 verse 7. It says, where can I go from your presence? You know, because man's initial response to the awareness of his sin was to look for a way of escape from the voice of conscience. And that is very true. Because this is what I've learned when I was in Bible school. The word of God will keep you away from sin. The word of God will keep you away from sin. But sin will keep you away from the word of God. How's that? God wants us to have his word. That's why, uh, that's why the psalmist says, uh, Your word I have hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. It's very important that we hide the Word of God in our hearts. And uh, sin can make you lose interest with the Bible. You hide from the voice of God when you sin. Sin can make you lose interest with the Bible. And sin can keep you away from church or anything that is of God. Sin can fill your heart with fear. Sin can attract death. So why not have a reversal? God through His Word shows us where we fall many people think that the bible is complicated the problem is not with the bible but with the minds of those who read it when we accept the word of god with the faith of a child it feeds us spiritually god's desire is for his word to shepherd us the desire a newborn has for his mother's breast is the same desire we should have for the word 
Oh, isn't it true? It's like desire the sincere, sincere milk of the word. The word of God is like a milk to a newborn person, a newborn babe, a newborn Christian. But solid meat, the word of God will become solid meat as the person engages in his Christian uh, experience and in the word of God. You know what? It is very good for us to always keep in touch with the word of God. That's why it's very important to always have a, a personal devotion. Every day, a believer should have personal devotion. And you know, there are group devotions, but personal devotion, because you know what? The exact or, or the accurate measure of a believer's spiritual health can be shown on how he regards prayer. If we are an actively engaged believer in the Word of God, we pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day and you grow. Grow, grow. I learned that when I was in Sunday school and it's still true today. We read the Word of God every day. We hide the Word of God every day in our hearts. We memorize scriptures. We study the Word of God. We relate the scripture to, to those whom we want to share the Word of God to. Uh, to become fruitful, we share the Word of God. To, to become uh, fruitful and engaged in our Christian experience, we share the Word of God. We pray the Word of God. We memorize the Word of God. Wow, isn't that cool? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to shout out, I love Jesus. I want to hear the voice of God in my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because this experience of being a Christian is a living experience. God interacts with us. It's a to it's a double uh, way it's a two-way street God interacts with us with his word hallelujah let's go to prayer if you want to experience God speaking to your heart if he hasn't already you know we can experience that don't listen to those who have some pharisaical spirit telling you the word of God will not speak to you. The Word of God will still speak to us today. He uses His Word and by the power of the Holy Spirit, He can uh, communicate with us according to His... Uh, he has the right to communicate to us His way. And that's in line with His Word. Hallelujah. Because they that are led by the Spirit, they are the Word, the, the children. The sons of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray, O oh God, for my friends. I pray for those, Lord, who want to experience, Lord, having, oh God, an intimate relationship with you. I pray, oh God, that you help them engage in your word. I pray that you help them engage with your Holy Spirit by in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance, O oh God, that we hear you, O oh God. And you know us because your sheep hear your voice and they know you and they follow you. According to John chapter 10, verse 27, regardless of how is it interpreted by people, Lord, it is a fact. It is the truth, O oh God, that you speak to us in Jesus name because you guide us, O oh God, through your word. You guide us, Lord, uh, Lord, by your inner voice. Even Elijah, O oh God, who was hiding from Jezebel, you encouraged him. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you will restore the pure teaching of God's word in our lives, our homes, our churches. Help us, Lord, to treasure your word and let it speak to our hearts. 
let it come alive and produce fruits of righteousness. Lord, let your word speak to our hearts, O oh God, in our spirit, O oh Lord, in our mind. Father, thank you, God, that you give us revelation knowledge of who you are. Give us revelation knowledge, O oh God, by the Holy Spirit, O oh God. Father, thank you, Lord, that you will deal with us, O oh God, as we align with your word. Restore our excitement to be ablaze with the Holy Spirit fire to bear fruits of mission and evangelism, O oh God. Let fruitfulness continue so that more people will shine like stars for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Lord, we also pray, O oh God, for your people, the business people, those who are engaged, O oh God, in the marketplace, O oh God. Lord, here and abroad, O oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that we have friends who are faithful to you, O oh God, in, in the trade that you have placed them in, Lord. And we pray, O oh God, for people's needs, everybody's needs, the family's needs, O oh God, in this time, O oh God, of the pandemic. We pray for the sick. We pray that you will uh, give recovery, O oh God, to the people that are in need of healing, O oh God, and recovery. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you have compassion, Lord, on your people in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, O oh God, that this pandemic, O oh God, will not uh, uh, insist, O oh God, in Jesus' name. It will die away in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for protecting your people. We pray for the pastors of CIF, Pastor Ghani and Pastor Ates. We pray for Pastor Jenny and Pastor Ayas, Pastor June Ortiz, Pastor Ising, uh, Pastor Apeli, Pastor Mark, and Pastor G in Big Hall, Pastor Ed, Pastor Cleto, Pastor Israel, Pastor Chris, Pastor Burn, Pastor Alma, Pastor Monina, Lord, or Pastor Joseph Dilag, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. You bless them and their and Lord, every member of their family in Jesus' name. We pray for the minister leaders, the cell group leaders, oh God. The, the online services, Lord, of the church, the broadcast channel. Our goal in reaching up uh, uh, many, many uh, subscribers, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that uh, you are allowing Christ International Fellowship to expose your word into the whole wide world in Jesus name thank you Lord for giving us Lord a great technology oh God hallelujah father God we pray for the government our election is coming up we pray oh God that you will guide the people as they would uh, select who they will vote oh God into office we pray Lord for every people tongue every tribe and nation oh God and Lord more souls into the kingdom thank you Lord thank you Lord for restoring to us Lord the pure teaching of your word in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. We bless your name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you for praying with us. And uh, we, we, believe, we, we believe that God is blessing you as we pray together because corporate prayer is very, very vital in the life of the church and in the life of believers. Thank you for being with us and uh, once again uh, continue to, to uh, let your friends know about our broadcast. And thank you so much for blessing us with your presence. The Word of God is here and the presence of God is here. Hallelujah. God bless you and be empowered in the name of Jesus.
Something.